we're going to do in this video is take a look how it's at Spry and look at how to create a navigation bar working with Spry. So to begin, what is Spry? Spry is built into Dreamweaver and Spry on our insert panel is done through JavaScript and XML. And what it does is it helps us to create more robust, interactive sites. So let's take a look. So we come to our insert panel and we find Spry. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go over how to create a Spry menu bar. Now, what I've done is I've created a div ID. I've inserted an ID, and as you can see from my code, it's called navbar. Uh, and I'm going to insert this right into here. Let's do a horizontal one. We're going to hit OK. And what we see is that this is actually the default. OK, what we're looking at, this is the default. Now, what else has happened when we come up here, Dreamweaver has generated um, a JS file, a JavaScript file, and also a CSS file. OK, in the CSS file, we can go in and edit, and that will change how our menu bar looks. OK, so let's actually take a look what I want to do here. Uh, I'm going to come up to my windows. I'm going to open up my properties. When this is all selected, I get this. OK, and what I want to do here is I'm going to put HTML. OK, um, and now what I can do is I can now I'm on HTML and this will change item one right here. I can see everything that's right here. Now I'm going to find um, my link. OK, and what I need to do is come on in over here to find my link. OK, I come into here, and here's my HTML1 file. OK, now what I can do as when this whole thing is selected, now again, in order to get back to that item, I need to have the whole thing selected. So I'm not going to worry so much about doing the links right now, but let's actually just take a look and change things around. I can come to item 2. I'm going to make item 2 CSS. OK, and actually, why don't we go for capital letters? OK, I can come back. To item one, I want a item one. Hold on, which is this one? I want this one to be HTML. Okay, I come to CSS again. I could put my link in right here. I come to item three. I'm gonna make item three be Spry. Oops, actually, I think the way I had this, I had Dreamweaver, and then item four, we're gonna put in. Spry. Okay. Now, um, okay. Look, and it didn't. It didn't all fit. Uh, so what I would need to do is actually make my bar a little bit bigger. Um, so let's actually come in and let's edit and do that. But before we do it, let's preview this in Safari. So I can come in and say preview, save. Now, what it's going to tell me is that these are all of the dependent files that it's going to save with this. So we're going to hit OK. All right, now I can see that this all works just like so. Voila. Well, let's say I want to change this so I don't have these colors. Well, that's really easy to do. Let's come on back into here. Um, now, sometimes let me let me flip over back to Design View. Uh, there we go. Because I want I don't want to see it the right way. That's what happens sometimes. It's just gonna uh, do that. Let's actually just get rid. Well, maybe we'll add one. Uh, if I come to Item One. I'm going to make item one HTML. What do I do? More on HTML. All right. And let's create our link and let's link it to HTML2. Choose. Excellent. All right. Let's come to CSS. Let's create our link. And I know we have a CSS. We're going to hit choose. Let's come to Dreamweaver. Let's create our link. Let's find Dreamweaver. Choose. Let's come to Spry. Let's create our link. And where is our Spry? Choose. OK, now let's get rid of some of these other ones. I'm just going to delete this. OK, um, item three, delete. Item this, delete, delete. Now we can come back in. Um, and uh oh, what did I just do? And we can, you know, 
Yes, I actually wanted to delete that. Okay. We can come back in this menu and all of its children will be deleted. Oh, how sad. Would you like to proceed? Yes. Okay, good. Um, so it would be it's real easy to add another one. So let's say I take this away. I think you can probably figure out how to add. All you want to do to add is just hit add. Okay. So whenever you want to come back in and add or take one away, that's what you do. Okay. All right. So we'll preview it one more time. Preview in Safari. Save. Okay. We can see what we have here. Okay. Moving right back. CSS. Oh, we don't have everything formatted yet. Dreamweaver. And this is actually our Spry page. All right. So let's actually take a look at um, how we can go about now changing this color so it's going to work a little bit better. All right, so what we want to do is actually go to those CSS. Now, again, just go one thing. When I click on this, see how I don't have this anymore? When I want to get back to editing that menu, I have to click the whole thing and then I can edit this. Okay, so there's a couple different ways that we can change some of this, some of this formatting. Okay, um, if I click onto this and I come to CSS, I can see all of these different rules that I have. Okay, I can see, you know, visited when I hover. Okay, so if I hit, hit hover, I could edit this rule. All right, and if I look at the background color, um, I could go in and I could change it. Okay, but let's actually come over. I think it's a little bit easier when we come onto the CSS styles panel. Um, and we can click this right here. All right, and then we can actually see a little bit better what it is that we're doing. What we want to do is actually we can come on over to our, let's come back, let's take a look at this. We can come back over to our CSS, okay? And then what we can do is we can come on in and we'll see once we save is that we have our web, I have my web design CSS file, but the one I want to really take a look at is the spry menu bar horizontal, right? And what's great about when we open up our CSS panels, we can actually see it's telling me as I come down in here, you know, what, okay, what is going on? All right, and where I want to look is, um, I'm going to change these colors. That's really what I want to do. Okay, there's a border around it. I can get rid of that if I wanted to. I could edit that. Let's keep that for right now. But the one I really want to do is I want to change this color. All right, I'm going to come in. I can actually, I want to just grab this. Okay, now I've changed it to be the color that matches. The other thing I want to change is when it hovers. Let's change it from this blue. Let's just change it. Let's change it to something a little bit different so then we'll, we'll notice the difference. All right, let's save all. And I encourage you to spend more time experimenting over here to see what's going on, right? You can see other things. Maybe actually I want to change this one to the hover, right? And I don't know what color I made it, but 699, okay, let's see. And again, um, you know, experiment over here. Keep looking. I'm going to look. I won't change any of that blue color. All right. Preview in Safari or wherever you want to preview it. We're going to save them all. So now we can see that this color has changed. Now, one thing where it didn't change, up oh, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So there's a little bit on adding some more interactivity, creating more robust websites. Thank you for listening. Spend time experimenting and uh, learning about the possibilities of Spry in JavaScript. I'm sorry, Spry in Dreamweaver. <laughs>